Hello everybody, this is Radish Head, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Fire Red Time Bomb Challenge, where last time we got onto this ship, and uh, well, actually prior to that we also caught a Diglett who we named Eskimo, and uh, we did a little bit of battling and I said I was going to go heal my Pokemon and then come back onto this ship. Now I, did a, I looked up a little bit of uh, research and I heard, if I'm correct, yeah, okay, so this woman here, uh, she will heal our Pokemon. So in the original games, uh, this woman wasn't actually here. This room was just empty, and she could go up and click on the bed, and it would be all good. But uh, I guess they wanted to make it a little bit more obvious in this remake. But yeah, that's why I was a bit lost before. <laughs> anyway, um, oh yes, also I took the item off of uh, Terra, the Meowth. He actually had Payday. I'm uh, not. Whoops, what am I talking about? He had a uh, TM10. Uh, which is hidden power, which is actually really cool. It's not a very good move, but it's probably worth something, right? Also, I used two rare candies. I used one on Eskimo to get to level 19, and one on Terra to get him to level 18. Uh, Eskimo, no, what do I? Terra learnt Payday at level 18, which I replaced with Scratch. I replaced Scratch with Payday because they both do the same amount of damage. Except one of them gives you money, which is cool. Also, I just went into the two rooms which I've already battled the trainers in. I'm going to try and clear out this ship today. Waiter, I'd like a cherry pie, please. I'm not the waiter. The waiter is outside. There he is. Okay, right. This is the uh, trainer going to happen right here. Nope. Are you going to battle me? Is anyone going to battle me? I always travel with Wigglytuff. Wigglytuff is pretty cute. Aww. Not that my own Pokemon aren't adorable, but... Wigglytuff is pretty cool. Okay, right, you guys are going to challenge me, right? Okay, here we go. I love Pokemon, do you? I do. I've got a whole YouTube channel where I play mostly Pokemon. <laughs> Youngster Tyler sent out Nidoran. Another Nidoran. We know these things have a uh, peck. So I guess we're going to have to switch out into Eskimo. Yeah, I'm not wrong, am I? We, don't, we really don't have many ways of getting rid of poison types. Because as far as I know, the only things they're weak against are... Ground... Uh... Psychic? Maybe? Is that it? Ground and Psychic? So, yeah, we don't have... Oh, we do have Psychic, actually. What am I talking about? MLG Pro it would also be suitable. Also, I'm very disappointed, apparently. Whoa! <clears throat> uh, wow, that was pretty scary. But uh, yeah, apparently, even though we used a uh, rare candy on Eskimo, that still isn't enough to defeat these things in one shot. Although, this is a level 21 one. I think the other ones were only like level 18, so presumably it could defeat those now. Wow, you're great! I know! Like, comment, subscribe! <laughs> oh, drat, that wasn't what I wanted to do. That actually made me jump a little bit. Uh, I collected these Pokemon from all around the world. Well, good for you. I actually wanted to heal my Pokemon, but um, at least we have Butterfree now in case you do have a Nidoran. Pidgey. I've got to, I've got to take Dry Bones off the front of the party because apparently people only use Pokemon that I'm bad against. Also, what am I supposed to use against this? Terror? Maybe? See if I can um, throw some coins at it. <laughs> coins scattered everywhere. I love this move. I want to see the animation actually. Hang on. Ah, oh, that is one of my favourite animations in the game. It's just so strange. Like only Meowth can learn it, and it's not like it's a good move either. It's just scratch. It just gives you money as well. I'm not even sure how much. I'm about to find out. It could be quite useful at this point of the game having a method of getting money. So I'm going to use MLG Pro against this Nidoran. Oh, well, that'll grow us a level as well. Okay, uh, Confusion. I'm not sure if this is going to defeat it in one hit, but... Okay, it's a clean two hits, though. And then we now know where we can do a bit of healing. There's also a, an item in this room, which I'd be curious to know what it is. Level 19, are we going to learn anything good? Okay, Lass Anne is down. Oh no, went around the world for these. 
Oh, we got 270. That's actually quite a lot. I'm quite impressed. Right, I'm going to grab this. Brick break. I bet that could be useful. Uh, am I going to talk to you? Yes, I am. We're cruising around the world, my children and I. Well, your children need to calm down and stop attacking random strangers who walk into their room. It's like guards, dogs. Okay, right. Yes, I will take a short rest, and we are going to continue on killing up everybody's Pokemon. <laughs> That's just what we what we what we do on these cruises, apparently. Okay, if I already battled you. Shh, I'm a global police agent. I want the trail of Team Rocket. Well, if I was a member of Team Rocket, you just told me your plan. That'd make you feel a bit crazy, huh? Okay, do any of these guys want to battle? You, Mon Petit, we're busy here. Out of the way. Are these all chefs? Are these all French? I saw an odd berry in the trash. I wonder what that was. That's from Russian, not French. Whoops. <laughs> I found a great ball. Nice. Ahem, I am the uh, Le Chef. The main course is prime beef beefsteak. But have I enough fillet to, fillet to beef? <laughs> I'm so terrible. Sniffle, sniff. I already get to peel onions. <laughs> I found a chesto berry. Cool. Did you hear about Snorlax? It's a glutton. No other Pokemon eats and sleeps the way Snorlax does. I found a cherry berry. And finally. Hum de hum de ho, I peel spuds every day. <laughs> and there is a peacher berry. Okay, that's pretty cool. So it's just a bunch of chefs talking about whatever it is they do. Peeling potatoes and onions and, and the like. Okay, it is time to continue battling. I've journeyed far and wide, but in all my travels I've never seen any Pokemon sleep like this one. Oh, it's Snorlax. <laughs> Everyone's hyping him up, it's like, whoa, you've got to see this Snorlax. Technically, I could have seen one by now if I uh, ventured off a little bit east of Diglett's Cave. Anyway, check out what I fished up. Let's check it out. Oh, if he's fished it up, then maybe our Oddish will actually be able to take it down. Oh, yes, this is more like it. Goldeen, come on, Dry Bones, this is your, your time to shine. We need a more powerful move than Absorb, but at least we can heal back some of the HP that we deal. Absorb does seem to do the trick for now. Let's just, oh, crits! <laughs> Every time I speed it up, something bad happens. Alright then, Goldeen is down. Let's see if we can get to level 21. I'm not even convinced Tentacool is weak to Grass. Do we have anything this week that, uh, water, no, I'm going to stick with dry bones, because ground is good against, um, tentacle, but I don't want to use dry bones against a water type, so. I'm going to use sleep powder. There we go. And just keep on absorbing. There we go. Yeah, these battles against tentacle always take forever. I don't know why, it's just got a lot of special defence, and it's got sort of a bit of an awkward type combo that means that Grass isn't very good against it, or rather Grass is normal effective against it. And finally a Goldeen. It's nice having a level 21. Alright then. And... Alright, nice. Good stuff. I'm all out, he says. Oh, oh, Dry Bones is evolving. This is hype, hype moments. Let's uh, just sit back and enjoy the show, I suppose. And here we are, Dry Bones has evolved into Gloom. Of course, we can't evolve Gloom into anything until um, we get a certain stone. And I've never actually evolved a Gloom before. I did have one in my Emerald series. But, uh, ah, named uh, Akotopia, I seem to remember. 
but unfortunately that did not quite go to plan. Although the gloom did save us in the electric gym, no less, which is the one that we're about to face. Okay, let's do some uh, poison on this. Oh, even paralysed. This is going to be annoying now. Will we be able to get an attack off? Yes. Okay, so at the very least we can now start stalling. Stool to victory. Hope that slam isn't too painful. This Pikachu is really annoying. Like, for real. A double team, paralyze. It's amazing I can get any attacks off, to be honest. Nice work, Dry Bones. Gentleman Bricks. And what is this item? A Stardust. That's actually worth quite a lot of money. It's worth like uh, at least 4,000, I think. Um, I'm going to quickly dash back and uh, heal my guys. Because I don't want to waste too much of the episode uh, running back and forth. But I also don't want to die, so there is that. Okay, right, we're back. Uh, have I already been in here? Yes, I have. Okay, so, we're on to the next bit. Okay, has this guy got to battle? Small trees can be chopped down using the move cut, but remember this, cut is an HM technique. Once learned, it is not so easily discarded. Ah, yes, I've seen some Pokemon ferry people across the water. Okay, so they're sort of teaching us about HMs. Nothing too useful or interesting there. Of course, we will be getting cut inside this uh, place. Which do you find more worthy, a strong or a rare Pokemon? Hmm, that's actually a good question. I'm a fan of both, but uh, I do have a sweet spot for uh, rare Pokemon over strong ones. I like uh, unique Pokemon, to be precise. That's why, why I like Meowth, because it's sort of got the whole unique moves going on. Also, how do I not have a water type on my team? Uh, okay, Eskimo, up, you're up. You should be able to defeat this in one shot. There we go. Oh no! Trap. Well, at least we're all missed. Let's just scratch. I'm not sure how Diglett scratches, but whatever. <laughs> Ponyta's up. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to stay in here. Come on, let's see if. Actually, let's go for magnitude. Let's roll the dice. Magnitude 9! Oh, that is a huge earthquake. That's like the second biggest possible, I reckon. I'm pretty sure it only goes up to 10 in this. in Pokemon. I must salute you. I hope, uh. You know, having a huge earthquake on a ship hasn't affected it in any way. I don't believe I saw you at the party. I thought this was the party. Oh man. Bill gave me a ticket to his boat party. He didn't tell me this was the after party. Never mind. I guess that's why he didn't want it. Maybe he was only invited to the after party and he didn't want to miss all the action. I bet he actually went to the real thing. I wasn't tr I wouldn't expect Bill to uh, miss out on anything like that. Okay, this is a pretty good matchup. <laughs> and Dry Bones is level 22. Got to watch out for uh, the maximum level, which uh, is always posted on the uh, sidebar. You can see what level each of my Pokemon are allowed to grow to before they explode. I didn't see that it was Pikachu coming up next, I should have been paying more attention. Uh, let's use Terra. I think some uh, money is in order. No, don't you start this, don't you be double teaming. Okay, come on Payday, do your thing. Yes. Oh, that's, that's a lot of damage, I like that, that's great. <sighs> Critical hit, please hit. Oh man, now what am I going to do? I can't really trust another quick attack. 
I don't actually have a bulky Pokemon. Dark Link is kind of bulky. It's probably the best shot I've got. Oh, nice. Shed skin works in that way. I managed to cure my paralysis. Oh, wait. Okay. Last dawn is gone. Take it easy. No way. I want the boat party. <laughs> and the $90. Okay, so what is this item these people are guarding? An X attack. It's not even that exciting. Huh. Alright then, so uh, we have actually managed to do pretty well here. We've only got a couple more rooms to go, as well as uh, this area up the stairs here, which I'm pretty sure there's a couple of uh, sailors out there. But I'm going to end this episode here. So, uh, next episode we are going to battle our rival, hopefully. Well, we almost certainly will. But, uh, yeah, if you want to uh, become a Pokemon on this series in the future, don't forget to comment on the episodes. And until next time, I'll see you then.